Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, November 26, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. This week, of course, is Thanksgiving week in the United States, so we'll have a little bit of an altered podcast schedule with only three podcasts for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Also, the podcast will likely be a bit shorter than usual, just because typically there isn't that much news to report during this week. In diaries from this weekend, we first got one from Xavier about an interesting event that he investigated. The problem was that the firewall they're using blocked an HTTP request that actually came from outside their network. Now, uh, this particular firewall was configured to block uh, malicious or uh, inappropriate URLs from users inside the network. So typically, you would see outbound traffic trying to reach a website that violated some kind of policy. In this case, however, the attack went the other way around. Now, one of the most common attacks that we see in our web application firewalls is people looking for proxies. If someone is looking for a proxy, they would typically go to a well-known and not blocked site like Google or something like that. But in this case, what apparently happened was an attacker checking out the firewall to see which sites are allowed and which sites are not allowed for internal users. And then, of course, uh, the attacker could use this information to, for example, create a phishing email that links to a website that's not blocked. So the real problem here is that the firewall was misconfigured in that it did allow access from the outside. Instead, it should block all access from outside the network and for internal users only. It should then apply its content filtering policies. And Guy's talking about Malice. Malice is an interesting open source project that allows you to build your own multi-engine malware analysis system. So if you basically want to build your own little virus total, Malice is sort of an interesting way of doing it. Now, why would you go through the trouble to build something like this if you can just send your malware to VirusTotal? Well, uh, if you send data to VirusTotal, it's essentially made public. So first of all, if it later turns out that the document you suspected of being malicious was not malicious and instead a confidential document, you just made it public. But also by sending mal malware to VirusTotal, you may actually tell the attack hacker that you spotted their malware. But if this isn't a concern to you, then Malice actually will allow you to send data to VirusTotal. Another sort of nice little benefit, it integrates with Elasticsearch. So there are some Kibana front ends that you can use to essentially look at statistics of files processed by Malice. Now, with all the news around the Blue Keep vulnerability in recent months, and so RDP, of course, has been a big topic and security implications of using the RDP or remote desktop protocol. One alternative that people are sometimes using is VNC. Now, the probably biggest advantage of VNC, aside from being open source, is that it is a multi-operating system. So pretty much for any operating system, you will find a VNC implementation allowing for remote GUI access. Kaspersky now took a closer look at these VNC implementations and across the four implementations they looked at, they found 37 different flaws. All the vulnerabilities have been reported to the respective projects and have been fixed, with the exception of vulnerabilities that affect tight VNC 1. Well, this is no longer supported. You have to upgrade to tight VNC version 
two. Good news in the report is that the server side, which is usually the more exposed side, looks pretty good. There was only one remote code execution flaw, and that was in Turbo VNC, and it is only exploitable if the user is authenticated. So basic security, keep your passwords and hard to guess really gets you pretty far here, at least on the server side. Well, and this it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.